afternoon, morning, and or evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Jackson McKenzie. And I am Miro. And we're going to bring you a replay of a game by uh, forum personality and master Zerg player Morgan Freeman. Uh, he talks a lot of stuff on the forums. It's time to see how good this man actually is. And we've got a ZVT for you here against a Terran named Zeno. Silver against silver. He's... yeah. It's, it should be interesting to see whether um, it's uh, Terran is as overpowered as Morgan Freeman consistently makes them out to be. Indeed. It's, a rather amusing um, site if you ever jump onto the forums. Well, Morgan Freeman, uh, as as Mira says, is always on about the uh, the opiness of Terrans and the the mad the mad skills that he brings to the table that he j that Terran just makes irrelevant. All right, so in the top left corner, no, sorry, th that's the bottom right corner. Derp. Bottom right corner of King Sejong Station, uh, the Terran in red. We have Zeno. And in the top left corner, we have our hero of the hour, one Zerg player, Morgan Freeman, in the blue trunks. In the blue trunks with a probe decal. <laughs> yes, that is rather interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's his uh, his team logo, or, or what have you, or group logo, or something. Yeah. Sugar. Zeno with the Very early, uh, early wall off. Sugar. Samira, I, I've not uh, seen yes. a whole lot of uh, games on this map. What do you think of King Sejong Station? I... It depends. It depends on the matchup. Mm -hmm. In terms of Terran vs. Protoss, mm -hmm. I absolutely despise it because the fact that they can blink in on both sides mm. and it is an utterly useless Reaper map. Gotcha. Yeah, I've I've seen that same uh, that same dual blink tactic used uh, on this map in ZVP or PVC, there I should is say. A very small outcrop on there and on there around that side right. that the reaper can jump in, but mm -hmm. it makes it a lot. It makes it very easy for it to be sniped. But in terms of Terran versus Zerg, I'd actually say this is a more Terran favored map. Okay. The uh, reason being, again, that low ground means that you can just put siege tanks there and snipe tech. Mm -hmm. Or um, the 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 way the third is positioned, because mm -hmm. there's the two, there's the gaps there and there. Right. You're forced to ch you you can take it through the choke mm -hmm. point. Uh, Morgan Freeman, by the way, the with a uh, with there. a hatch first uh, build, hatch first, then gas on thirteen. Uh, followed immediately by a spawning 13. pool on yes, 13. 13. That yes. Is strange. Um, so he went fi 14 hatch? Uh, yeah, 14 hatch, uh, 13 gas, 13, 12 13 pool. Gas, and then 15 pool. Was it? No, it, no, it wasn't 15. Yes, it would have been 15 pool. No, perhaps. I don't, I'm not sure. I, I don't think it went all the way up to 15. Now. Well, we shall see. We can, we can look it's at it possible. later. Yes, we we can. Um, boarding pool is now finished. Yep. And the Terran... And speed goes down. The... Yep, and we are supply blocked due to Morgan Th Freeman throwing away his yes. initial Overlord scout, mm -hmm. which he did not prepare for. We have a CC going down. Well, he's only supply blocked for a moment. CC, he, he's only supply down. blocked for one moment, so... Pretty True. yeah, pretty it's early a second CC. CC though, because it's on the low ground. Yeah. Well, uh, he did get that SCV scout off. Um, Zeno did, so you know he kind of see that you know not a whole lot was coming along. Uh, we've yeah, got he's he's not too concerned about it. Yeah, we've got only one place. queen in production for Morgan Freeman at the moment, and a yeah, really early a burrow. Thing. And a baneling nest, okay. Okay. Do you think he could be going for some baneling mines, maybe? Uh, could be. Um, he's certainly making a heck of a lot of links. I mean, he could be thinking more more along lines of a bane of a very early baneling bust. That that that'd be my my expectation from that. But then why borrow? 
Given what he knows, he's. Oh uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I guess he's. Them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Baneling Mines plus Burrow. Or, sorry, Banelings plus Burrow equals Baneling Mines. I mean, you're right. There's really not much else to read from that. He hasn't really got much scouting because we've got mm -hmm. three, three um, barracks open. Well, three racks. Mm -hmm. Three racks down now. Mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. Morgan There's Freeman supply really blocked again. Gas. <laughs> Overlord completing now. Yes. Uh, he still has... Has he got two queens? No. He's, on, he's, he's still, only, still got only got one, got one, so one queen. One queen still. Wow. Um, and seven and he's... thrones in his main base. Yeah, and... What is going on here? What? what? Why? Okay, that's interesting. He's borrowing some banelings here and here. Mm -hmm. Defensive baneling mines, yeah. Um, that's interesting. I don't I like can't this. Say I've seen defensive baneling mines this early. I don't like it at all either. Yeah, I, he's he, he needs to be pushing out. He, why is his third not down? Um, he, he needs to be okay. It's way too. It's really late. Uh, yeah, and we've we've got a. What, we've got something that looks like an early Zergling push, but it's an early Zergling push at seven and a half minutes. Um, we've all, we do have two yeah, Baneling Mines burrowed. No we do have two Baneling Mines burrowed uh, right here. I do like that positioning. Yeah, yeah, okay. on, the, on the, the sort of inside edge of the ramp. That's good. Yeah, assuming that he can keep an eye on it, I'm sure he can get a massive amount of kills oh, from yeah. that. But, yeah, uh, I mean, like, he's got good placement on the... On the, on the, the he, like, all his Baneling Mines are well-placed. Just, I really question his decision to go for him this early. Third is going down at 8.30 for our Zerg player, which is... significantly later than he wants it. Incredibly late. And he still has no lair, either. Mm hmm Well, he does I have his... He does have his second queen now. A minute and a half earlier, I'd say. Mm -hmm. He he does have his second queen now, thank God. Okay, Lair is, yeah, Lair is on the way. Lair is on the way. Okay. Um, Fourteen drones. So he's he's now he's oversaturated in his no 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 he's saturated yeah. now yeah yeah it's saturated he's saturated now he's just moved them over yep. Um, let me see here. Um, forty two to forty one worker supply. So it's pretty mm -hmm. even. Yeah. The army, army supply significantly favors the Terran. It's, mm -hmm. He's over. He's well over double. Yeah, uh, and I think Morgan Freeman has really shot himself in the foot with that very slow start. Um, you know, when yeah, you, when I you when you go agree. when you go hatch first, that's a big commitment to economy, and you need to leverage that. It is, and he also scouted the very early command center, so he didn't mm -hmm. really need to make anything defensive. Right. He could have actually taken an earlier third, a much earlier yeah. third. Yeah, Evo chambers go down. Um, no upgrades on the way. Uh, despite a fairly large... Okay, there and we go. Uh, plus one, plus one is coming out for, for Morgan Freeman. However, we have plus two on the way for the Terran, so he's he's well behind now. Mm -hmm. he's, he's as yeah. Morgan Freeman is well behind. Yeah. In terms of upgrades. This is a very, very passive um, dot either side. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's got this little you know Zergling scouting force down here, um, but he's not really doing anything with it. He's just kind of sitting there. You know, he's gonna notice yeah. when the Terran pushes out, but I don't really know if he's in a much of a position to do anything about it. Uh, he's just made a, about oh, 12 or so, mm -hmm. about 12 or so Banelings that are yep. in his main base now. Yeah, Baneling speed on the way. Literally popped and morphed. And Numatize Carapace on the way. Uh, I'm actually not familiar with that upgrade, Nero. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, that is Overlord speed. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> I'm still mystified by the early borrow. What on earth was that all about? I think he was. I yeah. You know, I think it was for these baneling mines, you know. And yeah, but it still doesn't make sense to get them this early, and especially given okay. The here, Terran, right, here, here comes a push by the Terran. Out, so he knows how to pay. He knows that to pay attention. Yeah. All right, walking Will right over the baneling mines, he's, he's and oh, oh, nice detonation! Very nice detonation. Massive detonation. 
detonation. Oh, with a little bit of BM. There. Yeah. But that uh, was a massive detonation. Yeah. Well done. Very nice. I, I will certainly give you that. I, yeah. I, I, gotta admit, I also, I also do like really, the decision. Really nice. At this level of play, I do like the decision to leave those zerglings there as a kind of tripwire, so he knows when to start paying attention yeah, to the Vainling mines. Yeah, I think that's very clever. I actually yeah. do. I actually do agree that that's really good. My question is, why does he have seven Vainlings burrowed in his in his? Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that's. I, I'm not liking the pure that's zergling actually... composition here. There's 14 Banelings burrowed in his mane. Why are they burrowed he, in his he mane? He needs to bring them out to when get him along with these lings. Oh, uh, yeah. It does. It certainly doesn't help. The Banelings should have rolled in first, and the lings should have cleaned up there. Yeah, yeah. A a as it is, you know, those... Fine. Yeah, those lings attacking a bioforce with full medevac support. No, no, nothing happening there. Yeah, with... with uh, Especially because especially there was no splash, mm -hmm. and Terran's now just rallying over because... Yeah. There was no splash deal. Mm -hmm. Locust up, swarm host. This what? And a really, really. F that's a fast hive. Yeah. A well, lot more I links like coming out. Is he? Is, hive, yeah. But at this point in time, I question that decision because swarm he knows hosts. that there is an aggressive Terran force posturing outside his front door. Yeah. He has no banelings that are down with this force here. Right. Yeah, he needs to be more active with these banelings. And just yeah, I don't. I I I, I guess his idea with these bird banelings is uh, anti-drop mines. Um, and he's ta he again he goes in just with the lings. This is not happening. This is just not happening. No, it's it's not. Um, he's actually he actually had a massive lead when he. Uh, well, it wasn't a massive lead, but it Marauders was Marauders and Marines walk right over those two Baneling Mines. When, they uh, detonate late. Um, when he blew the Baneling Mines, and he's yeah. thrown it away. Because yeah. he doesn't lead with his Banelings, and has. Yeah. And if he rolls in now, he'll have nothing to follow it up. Yeah. He's pulling drones, so he's... Look at that mineral bank as well! Oh my Four lord! Four and a half thousand minerals. He doesn't yeah. have a macro hatch. He doesn't... Mm -hmm. have anything, and he's got two and a half thousand gas banked. Yeah. For a muta switch, I can only mm -hmm. expect because there's plus one muta upgrades on the way, and yeah. he hasn't got... I mean, I mean, he has recognized that this composition is just not working. Um, but I don't think that, no, the, that the composition... It, I don't think it's a problem with the composition. I think it's a problem with the deployment. We've got 3-3 three, three on the way for the Terran player. This game is over. This game much. is well and truly over, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, um, that was that was a complete throw. Yeah. Um, I'll give it to Morgan Freeman. He's got some good ideas. You know, you know the He's the got some interesting ideas. Whether they work yeah. or not is another. Well, yeah, okay. Do, you know, you know. I actually, I do, I do like the early Baneling nest um, with Burrow. I do like that actually. Um, and he blows his Baneling mines way too many at a time. Getting overkill on what yeah, he hits, this, and this, this can't end with Morgan Freeman winning, surely. Yeah. Uh, we've got a. Terran's taken his all right, we've, all right, we've, all right, we've got a got a muta poke in the back of the Terran base. Thirty seconds away. Yeah. Uh, we've got eleven more mutas on the way, and quite a few already here. So. I mean, but you don't base race a Terran. The spire up, yeah. You you can't base. I don't think this is gonna be a. Oh base my race. lord! Easy. Oh god. Are you serious? Wow. And wow. The, uh, famous BM. Yeah. I don't know what to say. This 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 is. He's got the muters in his main at least, but yeah. I don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you know, he's you know, he's he's committed to the base race at this point, but he's base racing a Terran. He does have a very large mineral racing. bank, so he can continue to make hatches uh, for quite some time. True, true, but he has no tech, so those mutalisks are the only thing that he can do. Yeah, In you know, fact, those, those like if he loses those mutalisks, he's done. Yeah, yep. He, he physically cannot engage that army. Yeah, he has to kill. Yeah, he, and he's only got 17 mutas. I I don't see this going well. Yeah, and he just he considering he just lost one. Mm-hmm.
So yeah, I, yeah. He he I needs he needs to be dropping ball. hatches everywhere right now. Um, and 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 okay, and and he is he's he's, he's dropping several hatches. Um, but he's still he's still got drones on mining. Yeah. He needs to be having those drones just turning into hatches left, right, and center, just everywhere. Hatches, extractors, anything to, anything to slow down the base race. I, n I don't understand the swarm host thing. Like, mm -hmm. there's a reason you don't go swarm host versus bio, and yeah. that's the massive mobility and DPS that mm -hmm. bio has. Yeah. He's, all, he, all right, he's down to 13 mutas at this point. He's he's throwing he's mm -hmm. he's throwing this game. It was it was over long ago, at least yeah. five minutes ago. Yeah, I I can't see him winning this at all. I do I do like the decision to when he saw he was losing to transition to mutas and just go for the base race. You know, just go for the go for the long shot. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of feel that it's a little bit too little, too late. Mannered. But I can understand. Yeah, certainly too little, too late. Yeah. Those those mutas should have. Yeah. It was good that they popped out when they did. Mm -hmm. Also, but I also I think he made a mistake in his targeting. He went for tech and not for production. Uh, with those no, mutas. No, he. No, he hasn't because he's actually going for uh, the reactors to cut off the production. He is that, now. That you see, so. He he is now. Yes. Um. But yeah, he's only got one hatch left, um, and there's a it's marine on the way to find yeah, it. This is yeah, good. this is done. This, um, if he can pick the, if he can pick off marines one by one, then maybe he can win this. But he's not mining anything now, and ultimately the Terran is still mining. He's got production. He's yeah. got an army that's flying in. Yeah, and this. I can't see him winning this. Yeah. Especially because the Terran now has something at every base. Mm -hmm. He even he's even he knows he knows exactly where he is. Like yes. Yeah. It it's yeah. He has complete map vision, complete map control, and once this hatch yeah. goes down, this is this is game over. He, yeah, it um, is. Although there's another one in the in the other corner, so okay, yeah. You, so so there is, so there is, yeah. Not not at a uh, not at a base site, but Morgan Freeman not does a have a very site. large mineral bank. If he can continue to do this, and if he can continue to keep that remaining muta flock intact, uh, which is looking less and less oh, likely by the second. Pick he picked off a couple of uh, that was a that was a really nice engagement there. That was a very nice pick off. Yeah. Well, uh, say what you will about Morgan Freeman, uh, he's certainly a resilient player. Uh, he, you know, he's tenacious. There, I, there's what I'm looking I for. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bad mannered, and I'm not entirely certain whether or not. I like the way, like, I yeah, feel... I mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, the, all, all, all a Terran player has to do is hunker that bio ball down at that, uh, at that third command center. And, and, there, and there's nothing that Morgan Freeman can no. do about it. All, all, all I'd say he needs to do is he needs to split up his army. So, half of it's in the main, half of it's in the, uh, ha in the third, and yeah. then the mutable, mutable can't escape. Yeah. Down to six, I mean, yeah, five really mutas. mutas. <laughs> he, God, he's yeah. going to take this out to the bitter end, he isn't he? This, this... Lordy. Even so, it, it does show the massive power that mutas have is is the speed and their regeneration. But yeah, if you throw them away like that, mm -hmm. then this game's over. Yeah, he's now completely out of mutas. I, I... Oh my God! Wow! 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 Okay, that's. Well played to Zeno. I'm sorry, but that just that takes the cake for me. I can't believe that. That's some incredible BM there. <laughs> that oh, is really, wow. Really, really um, force sportsmanship. Yeah. All right. So post mortem. Um, so okay. Some good ideas from Morgan Freeman. Um, I like using the lings as a tripwire 
uh, to bring his attention to where he needs to be detla detonating those Baneling mines. That's yep, good. That I like nice. that. You know, you know, especially at this level of play. You know, this is Silver League. You know, it also it also means that you know he has he has some form of map control. He can see when when the army is moving out. Which exactly. Is really good. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and you know the the early the early burrow with the banelings. I don't hate in principle. You know, I you know it's a, it's an interesting idea, and I think it could be taken somewhere. On the other hand, yeah, the execution is the lacking. Execution, certainly, on the other hand, was pretty pretty lacking. Yeah, yes, yeah, he yeah he needs to he, he needs to get the early command center. He scouted the reactor. He should have known that it would be safe to take that third, and then. Right. Go into your tank. Yeah. Take the third. Take those those defensive baneling mines and roll them into the Terran, in synergy with your he links. Had so many banelings. He could have actually just completely rolled over and then followed up with links. Right. And he would have won that. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, those those very that very early ling bane composition is very very powerful. If you use them together, you can't just come in with links. Um, yeah. And your your banelings do need to lead to provide that massive splash damage that exactly, AOE yeah, wipes out Terran forces all over the world, and I'm sure many Terrans cry here. That yeah, that <laughs> that to yeah, and I mean, you know, you know, one 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 pure example of of the power of banelings properly used is in that game. You know, that first baneling yeah, mine well, detonation was amazing. That was wonderful. That got a, that that would have gotten what at least twenty four kills, right? Oh, I don't know if about twenty-four, but a very large number, certainly. Um, yeah, it would. It you know, would say it would be upwards of twenty. Yeah, you know, it, eighteen, twenty-five, so, somewhere in that general area. That was a lot of mer dead marines. Those, yeah, all of those would have been marines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's and, a lot of DPS out of the army. And yeah. Comparatively, it also. How many how many banelings does it take to take down a marauder? Um, off the top of my head, given that they do 35 damage and the, and the splash is the same, mm -hmm. the Marauder has, I think, 120 hit points. Okay, so you would need so four. Four Marauders, maybe, sorry, four, maybe five with healing. Okay. Is well, I, 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 I was thinking, you know, could he, could he maybe have gotten more mileage out of using a three Baneling mine instead of two, but uh, you, you would really need four to take down the Marauders. And yeah, you do. Yeah. So, and, yeah. Um, I mean, fundamentally, Morgan Freeman just played a very passive early game. He did, and that was something that he should have done, but it should have been executed differently. Yeah. Um, Either that, or you, pa or you play an aggressive game, right? and basically roll over your opponent. And the yeah. build that he did was an aggressive build. He yeah. just didn't capitalize on it. Right. Yeah, so, you know, in terms of analyzing his play, good ideas. You know, he's got some, he's got some interesting ideas. Um, you know, playing to, you know, pl playing to uh, sort of minimize the weaknesses of the skill level that he's at. And, you know, this is Silver League. You know, this is, this is not Masters or something. You know, we can't expect, yeah, are, you know, amazing levels of multitasking from a player at this level. Yeah, um, true. And, you know, so, so you, know, you know, some interesting ideas, but when you, when you lose, the easy way to deal with the loss is by blaming it on the game instead of on how you played the game. And I don't think Morgan Freeman is going to get all that much better if he continues to blame his ZVT losses on Terran OP. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can't just sit there and do your thing and expect your opponent to wait to die. You've got to be active and you've got to play against your opponent. If something yeah. isn't working, change it. Um, you know, if if, if, yeah, if you clearly, clearly there's something. If you're if it's not working, then clearly there is something in your build, or there is something that you are doing 
that needs to be altered, that needs to be chained, changed or adapted to right. what your opponent is doing. Yeah. Now, and if you if you keep changing up your tactics, you know, and you know, changing your builds and changing how you do things, and you still keep losing against a particular composition or a particular race at a certain skill level, then maybe you have something to say about Terran OP. But that doesn't... The, you know, Morgan Freeman's playstyle does not look like the playstyle of somebody who is trying new stuff. Who, who's, who's, you know, really trying to be innovative in his, in his gameplay. Yeah, I... To a, to an extent, I disagree. I mean, as as you mm -hmm. said earlier, that Baneling, the really early Baneling minds that he had, was, that was really good. Okay, well, okay, that yeah, was, okay, yeah, that, that is true. Different. That that is true. But yeah. That said, if you can't follow it up with decent macro, if you can't follow it up with the right composition mm -hmm. to to bulldoze the army that may or may not be coming now. Mm -hmm. I mean, after after he blew up all of those marines. Yeah. He didn't really have any idea that it was there, and when he did, when he did eventually find them, mm -hmm. them outside, mm -hmm. he ran in with pure ling. Yeah. And in a, Despite in a the fact that he had what has, was it, fourteen, has fourteen two, two banelings that had stim, that has c concussive shells, that has sorry, that didn't have concussive shells, it had um, combat shields mm -hmm. and medevacs. Yeah. And you're an upgrade set behind. Mm -hmm. It's never gonna work. Well, it, well, it, 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 it can work, but you need a force multiplier. Something like, you know, Bane Links. But that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because he ran in with just Links right. when you're an upgrade set behind, mm -hmm. when, when he has what is effectively a mass... Like, where, where he is massively behind on tech... Mm -hmm. It's not going to work yeah. trying to kill the opponent's army with pure Ling. Yeah. Especially and, not that amount of Lings. Yeah. And, you know, Zeno had, uh, you know, a, a so, you know, it, it was a small army, but it was a solid composition. You know, Marines, Marauders, and Medivacs working in synergy. Yeah. And that's the sort of thing I mean, you sure have to do. He didn't really split, but he didn't need to split because... The banelings weren't there in the first place. Exactly, and you know, you know, had had the banelings been there, the he either would have had to split and expose a lot more surface area to those lings, and would have been rolled, or he wouldn't have split and would just have melted to the banelings. Given given what I know of Silver League mechanics, which is a decent but not significant amount. Mm -hmm. The likelihood of them splitting is second to none. Yeah. So you're more likely to tank the banelings with the marauders that are out in front, mm -hmm. but in doing so, kill off all the marauders and likely a good chunk of the marines. Yeah. Because that's not a small amount of banelings that he had. No. He just didn't use them. They weren't there. Right. Like they, they were elsewhere in, yeah. on the map. Yeah. You know, and... You know, the Muta Switch, I like the Muta Switch. Uh, you know, when he, you know, the sort of, like, long shot, okay, let's base race this guy. Um, you know, just kind of just try to keep him on his toes. It was too little too late, and I think the reason it was too little too late was that bank. Um, you know, he needed to, Agreed. you know, yeah. he needed to, to get those injects, to be spent. you know, you know keep, keep up with the injects, get the macro hatch down. You know, get the get the fourth queen, and just make more larva. Have more larva to spend, and, and keep a, making that's stuff. That's another thing to point out. I mean, he initially started with one queen, and a and like when he when he made his first queen, he also threw down the baneling nest. Yeah. And he had the spare minerals to do another queen at the same time. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in terms of yeah, the of, of the initial build order, um, what do you think of the decision to go speed before queen? Um, I dislike it mm. in principle. I I do too as a knee jerk you're reaction. Out on the production. Mm -hmm. 
yeah you're losing out on a lot of production i mean those those injects that you get yes it costs you 150 minerals per queen mm -hmm. but the amount of production you get from that is a massive massive increase and it right. far outweighs anything any of the other races can possibly do yeah uh, and you know, that so is, that is the strength of the Zerg. Yeah. That, like, yes, their units might not be as strong as a Terran a Terran Bio Ball, for mm -hmm. instance. Yeah. Or or as anywhere nearly as powerful as the Protoss Death Ball. Yeah. But they can just but make Zerg so many of them so fast. Have strong units. They have, they have, the way their economy works and the way their uh, the way their their macro works in general mm -hmm. just means that they can continually throw units at their opponent mm -hmm. and roll over their opponent through sheer force yeah. of army size. Yeah, but you have to get that critical mass going, and you have to keep that production rolling. You know, you, you know, and yeah, and, but, and, 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 and that means that you can just, just slam into miles. your opponent repeatedly with a massive army, lose it, and then just do it again. You, no, I disagree. You can do that, but you need to have the production behind it. He, right. That, that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, exactly. The problem was he didn't have that production. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, advice to Morgan Freeman. Play to the strengths of your race, and don't blame your losses on the game. Look for reasons for your loss in your own gameplay. If you go into every game, or, 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 or into, into every post-mortem analysis of a game, with the idea of, if I lost, it was my fault, if you start from there, you will improve much more quickly than if you blame your loss on something else. Yeah. Even, even if something else was at fault for your loss, you will still get better more quickly if you look for how did I screw up, what did I do wrong, what could I do better. Exactly. Well said. Alright, well, Mira, I think that about wraps this up. I would be inclined to agree. It Alrighty. was uh, well played by, by both sides, yes. but ultimately... Ult our, ultimately uh, better played by Xeno. Yeah, ultimately our Terran player Zeno was was the victor. Yep. All right. Well, uh, once again, I'm Jackson McKenzie, and I am Miro, and this is StarCraft Two. <laughs>